Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. We're on Gull Lake today and we're after these white fish. Stick around and see how we do. Oh, here comes one. I got him. I got him. I got him. It's a small one, whatever it is. Oh, it's a perch. <laughs> a little perch. He came in really fast off the bottom and just grabbed it. I got one. That perch. It's a little perch. It looks like a small one. Yeah. Yeah, two are down there. It came in off the bottom. The whites come in up high. You see the mark just come in high. Just caught and released a walleye. I'll put that picture on the video. There's another one down there, I think. Let's see if we can tempt them to bite. Oh, I got another one about six feet up. Yeah? Oh, man. Oh, there he it. You got him. Whitefish? So this is our first day fishing Gull Lake. There's a lot of people out here today. First of all, we came out right off of Range Road 10, uh, Brown's Low, Brownlow's area apparently. Tried out there, uh, caught small pike, and nothing much more was happening with people around us. So we headed out to the point and out in some deeper water. Nobody was out here yet, but we figured maybe the fish would transition to deeper water. We're in 20 feet of water now and we actually have caught pretty much all the species so when we first got here right around 10 30 there was uh i dropped the hook down had a white come in right away when the hook was just falling down grabbed it i lost that one in a minute i hooked up with another white caught that one uncle lost one and then the whites have kind of tapered off now the odd ones coming through but then we've been picking up some perch in the area they're mostly small the biggest one so far is about nine inches and then we're caught a pike right now which is about uh, 26 inches so there's fish in the area oh and I caught the walleye too uh, oh there's a fish down there on the bottom and uh, so you know this area 20 22 feet of water actually holds some fish out here and quite often during daytime hours after the morning bite up on the flats what you're gonna want to do is move to a deeper area where they're just going to be sitting for the daytime uh, cruising they have more time catching fish during the rest of the day. Uh, back in the evening, you can move back up onto those shallower shelves as the fish transition up there to feed. But during the day, get out on deeper water and you probably have better luck catching fish. I got something. Oh, it came off. Perch? Big perch or walleye. <laughs> oh, I got something. Oh, nice perch. He came way up, like four feet off the bottom to get it. Oh, yeah. They're aggressive suckers. Yeah, I know. I thought it was going to be a jack the way he chased it off the bottom. The big ones weren't aggressive. Yeah, I know, right? There's another one down there. Well, that's our day at Gull Lake. Caught, uh, keeper pike about 26 inch whitefish two perch we'll kind of worth anything nine inches uh we're out in 22 feet of water here and got some fish i think if he might have came out here first thing in the morning might have actually hit some more white fish yeah, because we would have been on hit, the right spot in the morning hit, uh, yeah. whites uh, as soon as we came here 10 30 wow. dropped the hooks Good. down we were hitting them Good. quick and caught this one lost a couple but then after that stopped right away so if you're looking for a place to fish, there's plenty of room out here on this big lake and a lot of people already come here to fishing, but there's still fish to be caught. Thanks for watching. Sorry we missed some of the action. A little bit of a slow day out here. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe.